Good morning, guys. It's about 6 a.m. 6.17 a.m. This morning, beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. I am up and at it. Let me give it a minute, let you guys jump on. But I wanted to read you guys a little of the book today. I don't know if that'll be all right. I'm going to read directly from the book, Start Your Day Off Right. Give you a message of hope today when the world is looking at chaos. Uh, allow you guys to have something in your lives to start your day and choose the direction you want to go today. I think it's so easy to get caught up in things that we, we forget to create. And that's, that's where the power is, is if we get up and we just go out and we, we hit what we want to create every day, that's where things start to happen. Good morning, Ryan. I'm going to wave at you. Tell me if the waves work. I don't know if they work. Good to see you, buddy. So Ryan's my business partner. Uh, he is he's a, one of the people that just keeps me waking up every morning and going. And uh, Man, I, this book would not be where it is without him. And so I hope you guys will send a shout out to him because this wouldn't be a reality right now were it not for this guy. And don't start crying. Ryan, <laughs> you can if you want. I uh, love you, man. All right, guys, I'm going to read directly from the book. And uh, I'm just going to do a segment at a time, and we might do this over several days, but, uh, but hang with me. And uh, at the end of it, I might, I might have a little message regarding it. You're welcome, dude. All right. So beyond the night sky and further than the faintest star, Past the darkest parts of heaven is a world so big it would make our earth look like a single grain of sand. The inhabitants of this great sphere lived strange lives that were, to a certain degree, like ours. But the most curious thing about them was that some were giants and many were smalls. The giants and the smalls lived amongst each other and shared the world as so many of us do. They breathed the same air, had similar opportunities, and in many ways were alike. However... They were massively different in size. The smalls kept to themselves eating tiny crackers and pea soup and having small talk. They believed that smalls were small and a small is born a small, lives a small, and dies a small. They had strong beliefs about themselves. They never had thoughts of their little neighbors, even in insignificant ways. Smalls were afraid to do brave things because their minds were small, and they had always been small. So they went about in a small world never having the courage to think big thoughts or take big risks. Their tiny feet led them down the, the, the same little paths, never brave enough to discover big things that would make them more exceptional in the heart. McBron's written shanks was a small. I don't know if you could see him. He was born into a small family and lived a small, ordinary life. His small friends had a hard time saying such a large name, so he became known as Rit. Rit came from a family with a long history of being small, and as Rit got older, he lived an insignificant life, traveled the same meager path his parents had taken, and associated with other smalls who lived, thought, and acted small. Man, how relevant today do we see people acting like that? Like most smalls, Rit only saw the path he was on and rarely looked up to see what else might be happening around him. One day, a burst of distant laughter high above him had him look to the sky. The giants had always been nearby, but he'd never paid attention to them. And for some reason that day, the sight of them sparked some fascinating questions. Why are there giants? He wondered. Why are they living such giant lives while I live this small one? How did they become so massive? Is it possible for me to become a giant? These were the first giant questions Rit had ever asked. He had once heard that everyone could become a giant, but his parents' words rang in his mind. Giants and giants are smalls. Giants are giants and smalls are smalls. And that's the way it will, will always be. You look, see him looking up at the giants there. I don't know if you can see that. Rich shared his questions with some of his small friends who laughed at him. Smalls were good at belittling after all. They told him, it's not possible to become a giant. You have to come from a certain ancestry or have extra special talents to be a giant. Giants are unique, they said. 
You're just a regular old small. Rit slumped to the curb with his head in his hands. Maybe it's easier to be a small than to stand out. But inside, he knew he was more more than a small. Dude, this, this book gets me emotional because this book is us. You know, how often do we sit there and we hear our friends say, you can't do that. You can't be a giant. How many of you just sit there and take that and believe it? Like Ryan says here, sometimes it just takes someone looking up, believing that just maybe it's possible. I mean, what dreams do you have that you've put on hold because you listen to others or you're afraid of what they might think? Well, time passed, and while traveling down the same small path he had always taken, Ritt saw the giants and asked himself, is this all there is to life, staying small and afraid, not standing out or being different? Who would want to be a small forever, he wondered. Not me, he exclaimed. I want to do more. Rit pondered how he could learn about the giants. He couldn't ask his friends and family, for they were all smalls. And what do smalls know about being giants? I've got it, he said out loud. Who would know more about being a giant than a giant? I know just what I'll do. So let's, let's go back to that last picture there. So we're going to pause there. Tomorrow I'll read more. I'll read the next chapter here. Um, but I want to talk about that. Like how often are we trading in our dreams to stay small? Are you playing small today? And so as a message, a message of hope in this time is don't follow the crowd. Don't do small things. If someone needs help, go out there and think about them. You know, smalls don't consider others. Uh, smalls stay small because they think small. And I don't want to create in-groups and out-groups here because we all have the potential to be giants. But what I want to consider, have you consider, is a message of hope that you can do more. Start questioning your life. Start looking at ways that you can grow and become a giant in your own way, whatever that looks like. And so I hope you'll take this message out. And I know some of you are coming on a little late, but go back and listen to it. Um... Like, Ryan, I appreciate this. I like how he finds a coach or someone who has done what he wants to do or become. Yeah, how, what do smalls know about becoming giants? You know, giants know about becoming giants. That's something I learned with coaching and mentoring, is that if you want to learn to become a giant, go find a giant. Ask them. Sometimes you have to go out on your path on your own and create it. And so that might be, that might be a possibility. But... If you go and ask smalls how to become a giant, they'll give you all kinds of ideas and advice. But what do smalls know about becoming giant? You need to really ask the ones that are doing it. And they, they offer books and courses and all kinds of things. And there's a lot of value in that. I always read. I love to read. I, I was doing about 80 to 90 books a year in reading. Of course, that's on Audible. <laughs> and now there's other things like Blinkist where you can listen to even more books, you know, it truncates them. But go get knowledge from giants. And so I hope you guys will take that message into the day. Continue to comment throughout the day. Over the next few days, I may just read out of the book for you and, uh, and share some ideas out of it. So uh, I, I hope you'll go out and make it a great day. Do something nice for others. Watch out for those that are in need today. Uh, I know there are some older people that maybe couldn't get out to the store uh, yesterday, uh, here in Utah, there was an announcement from the governor that they're not allowing groups over a hundred. And so I saw crowds of people out, uh, clearing out the stores, which is, uh, I think understandable, but there are people who couldn't do that. And so make sure you check on your neighbors today, uh, check on somebody else and make sure that they're covered. I, I think I'll reach out to a few people today as well. So, love you guys. Thank you. Uh, man, emotional. This is exciting. I can't believe that this is coming to fruition. And that's the hard copy right in my hands right there. This is what happens when you persist, guys. You can do this. And so, go create an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next video.